Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Friday Night Firestarters uh, Bible Study here in uh, Casa Murillo. I just want to welcome you all for uh, tuning in and joining. Amen. Uh, boy, a lot of stuff's been going on uh, since we uh, last did our Bible study. Uh, of course, last week we didn't do it because of Thanksgiving. And uh, this this month will be short because of Christmas. Uh, we'll have like a two, uh, next week and then I think the following week. Um, but just give you an update uh, on what's going on, especially here in our home. I just want to thank everybody for your prayers, for your support, for uh, coming by and showing love. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my wife, uh, she got very ill. She landed up in the hospital for about a week. Uh, she's home now. By the grace of God, she's home. Um, she's she's not completely healed. She's still going through some issues and uh, medication and um, uh, uh, oxygen tank she has to be on 24-7. Uh, so just keep my wife in prayer, Jacqueline. Uh, keep myself in prayer also. Uh, um, and uh, uh, we just need a we just need a miracle. We just need a miracle, especially in my wife's uh, physical body. Amen. But we know that we serve a great and mighty God. Amen. He's our healer. He's our great physician. He uh, he's a way maker. He's a deliverer. So we know that uh, my wife's healing is coming. And until then, she just has to just uh, take it easy. Amen. Take it easy. She's not going back to work anytime soon. So uh, we just got to pray that and believe that God's going to provide uh, the finances that we need to continue going. Amen. Um, also, there is there's a lot of, lot of prayer right now, a lot of need right now. Um, a lot of people in our church is out sick um, with one thing or another. Amen. Um, a lot of them have been hospitalized. Um, our leadership has been hit hard. Um, our praise and worship team has been hit hard. Uh, so um, the the need is it. The need is there for prayer, beloved. And uh, we just need to lift up uh, little Jessica Urena. Uh, she was taken to the hospital today with a hundred and four temperature. Um, we haven't heard anything, but uh, she's she is at the hospital um, So she you know, we need a miracle in her life. Amen uh, Jesse Hernandez brother Jesse Hernandez uh, Him also amen. He's, he's dealing physically with uh, real bad right now and um, uh, Sister Donna and and I mean I could okay. Uh, Pastor Angel, amen. I spoke to Pastor Angel today. Pastor Angel, he's having real bad respiratory problems. Um, so uh, th we just, uh, we need a miracle. We need a miracle. The body of Christ, our church family in, in Praise Chapel, Baldwin Park is getting hit hard. Amen. And it seems like every day we're hearing a report of someone, you know, falling ill. Amen. And we need to come against the spirit of COVID. Amen. We need to pray hard against it. Amen. And uh, and it's funny how um, uh, I I forget where I read it. I forget where I read it, but some uh, someone someone said, uh, you know, all these all these years they haven't been able to come up with a cure for cancer. It's been over 40 years, and they still haven't come up with a cure for AIDS. But here, one year, they're going to have a vaccine for COVID. I mean, something's wrong with this, this picture. Amen? I mean, very wrong. And it doesn't take a scholar. It doesn't take a, a, a scientist. It doesn't take anyone with a, a, a PhD to figure it out that something's wrong. Amen? So, uh, regardless of that, this, uh, pray, pray. If there's any time that you need to pray, is pray now, amen? Uh, pray for our nation. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Uh, you see that we have lockdowns 
uh, coming up. You know, um, uh, sh they're shutting everything down again. And they should have never opened it up in the first place. That's my opinion. But now they're, you know, going to shut everything back down. And it, and it seems like it's going to be worse. And there's going to be more people losing their jobs again. And business is closing. So um, <clears throat> we just need to, uh, you know, we need to just help our fellow brother and sister. Amen. We need to help them any way we can. Amen. And... It doesn't have to be financially. It could be helping them with taking them some food. Amen. A meal, a dinner, a lunch. Amen. Give up give up your lunch to bless someone else. Amen. Especially a family with children. Amen. And uh, that's what we need to do. We need to be there for one another during these times. Amen. Cuz it's only going to get it's only going to get rougher, especially you know now that the Christmas is coming around. And it's only going to get rougher. Amen. Uh, so just keep uh, keep our fellow brothers and sisters in prayer. Amen. Um, I know our church is not the only one getting hit. Uh, there's whatever church you belong to out there. I'm pretty sure your, your church is getting hit too. Amen. If you were having indoor services, most likely you're going to go back to having outdoor services. Amen. Because that's the, that's the, uh, that's the way it looks like it's going to go. Amen. But, you know, we can't, we can't let fear, we can't let the spirit of fear interrupt our lives. A lot of people out there, they, they're, they're, there's a difference between using wisdom and there's a difference between having fear. If you're, if you're living in fear if you're keeping yourself locked in doors because of fear, if you're keeping yourself from church because of fear, uh, then you're going about it the wrong way. You know, we are to use wisdom, but when you let fear overlap wisdom, then you let the enemy win. So uh, let's, not, let's not give in to fear. Let's not give in to fear. We use wisdom, yes. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. But let's not give in to fear because, you know, the Bible tells us that God did not give us a spirit of fear. So we know right there and then uh, fear is not of, of the enemy. Fear is not of God, it's of the enemy. Amen. But he gave us a, a, a spirit of peace and love and a sound mind, wisdom, a sound mind. Amen. So um, a lot of the activities that we we're having, going to have in church are all postponed. They're all postponed. Uh, we're not having men's prayer. We're not having women's prayer. Um, uh, any type of women's gatherings, men's gatherings, they're they're all postponed. Uh, we'll see what happens after the first of the year, and um, and we'll take it from there. But as of right now, our our Christmas event that we have every year, our Christmas dinner, that's postponed. Amen. Uh, so. Uh, any further, any further events? Well, we'll just have to take it month by month right now. Amen. Uh, especially until, you know, everybody's back on their feet and doing good and everything. Uh, make sure you're getting tested. Amen. Make sure you, you're out there, you're getting tested. Even if you don't have symptoms. And especially uh, if you work at a hospital, you know, first responder or anything like that, where you're around people, make sure you get tested, amen, and uh, just, uh, just to use wisdom, just to use wisdom, and uh, we just pray that you and your family are doing good, amen, and that you haven't been stricken with any type of symptoms, and just plead the blood of Jesus over your children, parents, plead the blood of Jesus over your children, plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, and let God just be in control of everything. Amen. Uh, we will have prayer tomorrow morning at church from 8 to 9 o'clock. There is prayer. So please come out and join the rest of the body of Christ there and intercede for your fellow brother and sister in the Lord. Amen. So just come out and pray. Amen. For one hour. For one hour, come out and pray. Amen. Um, <clears throat> we do have church service Sunday morning at 9 a.m. 
9 a.m. to 9.30 is prayer. 9.30 at 10 is praise and worship. And at 10 o'clock, the, the word is brought forth. Amen. So continue uh, coming out. If for whatever reason you're, you're sick in body and you don't make it out, you know, I'll watch it online. Facebook Live or YouTube. Amen. Uh, it seems it's been... Uh, <coughs> It's been a good way to continue, you know, just uh, backing up the fellowship, amen? And um, whatever your need is, if you if you have a, a prayer request, amen, uh, just shoot a message there. Just shoot a message and uh, and we'll, we'll get you. You don't have to let us know. Just say, hey, I, I need prayer, amen? I know I need prayer, so I'm not ashamed to ask, ask you to pray for me or to pray for my wife, amen? And we just, uh, we just got to continue just believing that the Lord is going to just see us through this, through this time. Amen. That the Lord is going to just continue to do what the Lord does, His will. Amen. And uh, we might think the enemy is defeating right now, but we have the victory, beloved. We have the victory in the end. Amen. No matter what happens, no matter how we see things right now or how chaotic the world is right now, we need to understand that. God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne, and God's going to do what He's going to do in His timing. Not in our timing, but His timing. Amen? <coughs> in Psalms 105, amen, verses 1 through 6, it says this, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the people, sing to Him, sing psalms to Him, Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant. You children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Amen. So right here in verse 1, it tells us right off the bat for us to give thanks to the Lord and to call upon His name. When was the last time you give thanks to the Lord? Amen. I'm not talking about, you know, thanking Him for your tacos. Amen. I'm talking about giving Him thanks for waking you up. Amen. You might have woke up sick in body. You might have woke up coughing and hacking and, and spitting up. You might have woke up with a fever. You might have woke up with chills, but you still woke up. You still woke up. Someone didn't wake up today, but you still woke up. Even though you might have had to go to a job that you really didn't want to go to. You didn't want to get out of bed. You didn't want to drive on the freeway. You didn't want to deal with that traffic. Amen. But the Bible tells us is to give thanks to the Lord and to call upon his name. When was the last time you called upon the Lord's name? Amen. When was the last time you, you, you shouted the name Jesus? Amen. When was the last time you, you just, just, you know, called his name and just said, Lord, I love you? When was the last time you did that? Amen. You know, the Bible tells us here also, make known his deeds among the people. When was the last time you shared your testimony with somebody? When was the last time you, sh you made known the goodness of God to someone? Amen. There's a lot of hurting people out there right now, beloved. A lot of hurting people. And it just takes just you and me to just to just come and let them know that, you know what? If no one else loves you, Jesus loves you. You know, sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Amen. We can sing all the oldies but goodies. We can sing this song, that song. Amen. But when was the last time we sang to Jesus? Amen. He sings to us every day. He puts a new song in our hearts every day. When was the last time we sang a song to Jesus? Amen. Jesus, lover of my soul. Anything. Amen. Jesus, I'm never going to let you go. Amen. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice. Who seek the Lord. Amen. I mean, I could go on and on. Amen. But, 
You know, this Psalms 105, 1 through 6, read it. Read it. Amen. It's just a total, it's a love, it's a love, it's a love letter for us to God. Amen. And if there's anything we need to do, is just give thanks to Him. Amen. Give thanks to Him that He gives us another day. Give thanks to Him that He gave us breath to get through today. Amen. That no matter what the enemy tried to throw at us, we made it. We made it. Amen. So with that said, amen, that's not even, that has nothing to do with my message. But I had read that today, amen, and I just wanted to share it with you, amen. And it did something for me, and I hope it does something for you, amen. That no matter what we go through, that we are to give thanks, and we are to call upon his name, amen. And we are to share with everybody his wonder, his wondrous deeds that he does for us, amen. You might not, you may not be busted and disgusted right now, amen. You might not even have two nickels in your pocket to, to rub together, amen. But hey, you know, you're, you're, do, you're doing better than some other people, amen. Now believe me, believe me, you're doing a lot better than a lot of other people, amen. <clears throat> also, continue praying for Chaplain Bobby Mercado, amen. Continue praying for him. He's still in the hospital, He's been there now, what, two weeks? Uh, roughly two weeks. Uh, his wife, Pat, is home. She was in the hospital. She's home. She's still, uh, my wife spoke to her today. Uh, you can still tell her voice, amen, but she's still giving the enemy a black eye, amen. She's still giving the enemy a black eye, amen. She's, she, she's a fighter. Uh, but continue praying for her, her husband, Chaplain Bobby, amen. He's still dealing with uh, respiratory issues. And uh, we just need to continue, you know, lifting them up, amen. And that uh, the Lord provides for them while he's out, amen. Um, also, just, uh, we just pray for our nation, amen. We pray for our nation. And uh, we, got, uh, we got some rough, as far as our nation goes, we have some, some, a rough road ahead of us, amen. A rough road ahead of us, but... You know, God's in control. God's in control. That's all That's all we can say on that. For those of us that believe in the word of God and the word of his testimony, God's in control. And we know that everything's going to be all right. And if we look at it, it's nothing that we haven't gone through before. Nothing that we haven't gone through before. Amen. <coughs> and with that, I'm going to open up in prayer so we can get into his word. Amen. And uh, to see exactly where the Bible uh, leads us tonight. And I believe that it's something that we all need to put ourselves in check during uh, this month of December. Amen. Gracious Father, we come before you tonight, Father God. As we just give you praise, we give you glory, Father God. And as we lift up everybody mentioned tonight, Father God, even though there's so many, Lord God. There's so, there's so many, Father God, right now that are home quarantined, that have tested positive, that are sick in body, amen? Uh, even those that aren't even, that they're, they're not sick because of COVID, they're sick because of other issues, Father God. Uh, we just pray, Lord God, that your hand, Father God, just falls upon everybody. You're the same God yesterday, today and forevermore and i believe we believe that the same miracles you did yesterday you could do today and you could do tomorrow so father god we just lift up our uh, our body father god of christ right now father god our church family from our pastors all the way down father god and, and we just pray for our leadership we pray for all the the Bible study leaders, their wives, their families, their children, their grandchildren. We just pray, Father God, that your hand would just be upon it. Blanket. Lay a blanket of healing right now upon your land. Play a, put a blanket of healing upon this nation, Lord God. And just bring healing during these times. We lift up all the first responders out there. We lift up all the... The police officers, the sheriffs, the firemen, the doctors, the nurses, uh, the ER rooms, uh, ambulance drivers, anybody that's dealing with this first responding, 
our military, our men and women in men and women in the military. We just pray for them all, Lord God. Give them favor, give them strength, but most of all, give them a sense of peace, a spirit of peace. We ask that in Jesus' name. Everybody says amen and amen. Special shout out to our precious sister Raylene. Hi, Mia. We love you. We miss you. Continue praying for you. Amen. For your mom, for Richard, for Sal. Amen. Continue being a testimony, Mija. Continue being a testimony. And soon and very soon we'll be together. Amen. And uh, Sister Anita also. God bless you, sister. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Amen. And just pray for, uh, for just good health for you and your family. Amen. Uh, before I forget, before I forget... Uh, our men's our men's gathering in Chino Valley uh, last Saturday, Amen. <clears throat> it was it was it was a good sized group, Amen. Uh, smaller than smaller than the years past because you know a lot of people were were out ill, some were out of town, whatever the case may be. But this goes to show. When God's, in, when God's in the midst of everything, when God's in the middle of, of, of everything, how he just makes things miraculously happen, amen? And what happened that, uh, on um, Saturday was every year that Pastor Ruben Gutierrez puts on this uh, event for the men, uh, the speakers come in voluntarily. They don't get paid. Uh, the food's donated. Uh, people pay for the fairgrounds. Um, everything, everything people donate, donate or or pay for out of their own pockets. Amen. Because it's not the offering that's collected; it goes straight to the mission field. Amen. Whether it's in Israel, Egypt, Africa, Central America, South America, Mexico, wherever the needs at during that time. Uh, that's where they send it to. Well, this past Saturday at the men's event, they collected $2,500. Amen. $2,500 to go to the mission field. Amen. The year before, it was like they collected like $2,000. The year before that, it was just like $1,500. Amen. It seems like every year, it's always $500 more. And this year was 2,500, amen. With the less amount of men at the event, and they still collected 2,500, amen. So that's all God, amen. We need to give, it's like I, like I read in, in Psalms 105, amen. Let people know of the, the, of God, of the wondrous deeds God does in our lives, amen. And that's one of them, amen. And that's one of them, how he... God just miraculously made a way for $2,500 to be collected that day. And, and man, straight to the mission field. Amen. Straight to the mission field. And, and if they could be split up between two or three, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. But that's a praise report. That's a praise report. Amen. God is always on time. No matter what. God is always on time. Amen. <coughs> So if you have our Bibles tonight, amen, it is Friday night Bible study. Um, nothing long, I'm not going to take too much of your time, amen. Um, but I believe uh, the Holy Spirit has a word for us tonight. And we need to just understand uh, what, we're, what, what Paul, the Apostle Paul here, is, is, is uh, going to talk to us about, amen. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 4, we're going to be reading uh, verse 6 through 8, amen? But then we're going to go on a little bit farther. But the main, the main meat of the message tonight is in 6 through 8, amen? 2 Timothy. Now, this is, second, this is the Apostle Paul's last will and testament, amen? He knows that after this, it's done, amen? Uh you know he's 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 ready to be he's ready to be crucified, amen. Uh, in First Timothy, in First Timothy, uh, he was on house arrest, amen. He was on house arrest, amen. 
He had people, you know, he couldn't leave, but people could come and visit him. They would bring him food. You know, he, you know, uh, people would come and go and everything. And uh, so he, he had more comforts there. Even though he was on house arrest, amen, he couldn't go nowhere, but at least he could get visitors. Amen. Now in 2 Timothy, it's a wholly different scenario. Now he's in prison. He's in prison in the Medarian uh, prison. This was like during that time in Rome, it was one of the worst prisons that anybody could be at. Amen. It was underground. Amen. It was underground and it was right where the sewer is. The sewer will run through. So you can imagine. You can imagine. There he is in this cell. Amen. In a dungeon. Underground. And where the filth of the sewer would go through, amen? And and there he was, amen? There he was. And so he knew, he knew his time was coming. It was just a matter of days that they were going to get him and execute him, amen? But look what he says. Look what he says. Look at his attitude, beloved. Look at his attitude here in... in in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. For the word of the Lord says this. For I am, for him, Paul, already being poured out as a drink offering. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all those who have loved his appearing. Here we are, beloved, the, the first week of December. Three more weeks, three, three and a half more weeks left in this year. That's it. And we're going into 20, uh, two. 2021. Amen. Uh, I mean, I can remember when we're talking about at the end of 1999 coming into the year 2000. Amen. Uh, and then now we're, you know, uh, you know, then we get into uh, 2020. Amen. And it seems like uh, this year just totally just went opposite. Amen. Opposite of what we have planned to do this year. Amen. Now I want you to I want you to think back a little bit. I want you to think back a little bit to January of 2020. You know, before all this stuff happened, before all this stuff happened, before the Kobe incident, before you know the COVID incident, before all this happened, in January 2020, the first Sunday that you went to church. In January 2020. Amen. You already had your year planned out. Amen. You say, man, you know, I'm going to get more involved in church. I'm going to start giving more. I'm going to start praying more. I'm going to be more of a faithful servant. Uh, you know, Bible studies. You know, I'm going to get more involved. Uh, you know, what? and that's all good. And that's all good. Amen. January 2020. Amen. Where, what was your walk? What was your walk in January 2020? I want you to think about that for a second. What was your walk? Amen. Were you being, I were, in January 2020, were you totally sold out for the Lord? Were you backslidden? Were you thinking about leaving a church or maybe trying out another church? Were you, you know, were, were you were you stepping forward and not looking back while you're plowing the field? Amen. Where were you at in January 2020? Now fast forward 12 months. Fast forward 12 months to today, December. And everything that's happened in between. Where are you at right now? 
Where are you at right now in your walk? Compared to 2000 to January, are you in the same place? Are you still stuck in January 2020? Are you still, you haven't moved forward? You haven't moved backwards? You haven't moved anywhere? Are you worse off now than you were in 2020? Or are you better off now than you were in 2020? Amen. Just something for you to think about. Only you know. Only you can answer that. Amen. Unless you're gonna lie to yourself. Amen. But only you can. Only you can answer that honestly. Amen. And you can't lie to God because God knows. Amen. <clears throat> but look what the Apostle Paul tells us. Look what the Apostle Paul tells us right here in our scriptures that we read. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering. And the time of my departure is at hand. Verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. Remember, this is the Apostle Paul's final will and testament. If you knew that you were going to die tomorrow... If you knew that your last day was going to be today, amen, what can you say? What can you honestly say? The Apostle Paul tells us right here that he fought the good fight. How's your fight? Amen. How has your fight been these 12 months? Amen. From January 2020 to today, December. Amen. What's today? The 3rd? December 3rd? 4th? The 4th. Amen. Have you fought the good fight? Amen. Or did you just go two rounds and throw in the towel? Or did you just go three rounds and throw in the towel? Did you just get through halfway through the year? And throw in the towel because you couldn't handle it. Amen. The enemy was beating you up so bad because you you got laid off and, and you got sick and you, you this or that or or the kids started acting crazy and, and the husband wanted to divorce you, the wife wanted to leave you, and I mean, uh did you just give up? Huh? Changa ten, game over? Or can you honestly say that you have fought the good fight? The Apostle Paul goes on to say, I have finished the race. Amen. A lot of us, my race is not finished yet. Amen. I'm still, I'm still going forward. Amen. What about you? Amen. Did you run out of gas in, 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 uh, in August, did you run out of gas in June or July? Amen. And you and you fell out of the race. Amen. Stop going to church. Stop reading your word. Amen. Stop praying. Amen. Did you just give up? Give up on everything? You ran out of breath. Amen. And you didn't, you know, that's it. Just just that's it. I can't I can't run anymore. Amen. The Apostle Paul says that he has finished the race and have kept the faith. Amen. Three things we need to look at here. Amen. Fought the good fight, finished the race, and have kept the faith. <coughs> Amen. No one remembers a loser, beloved. No one remembers a loser. Amen. <coughs> Let me ask you this question. Who played in the Super Bowl last year? Think about it. Who played in the Super Bowl last year? Who lost the Super Bowl? Huh. Some of you are Googling it right now, huh? We know we all know the winner. We all know Kansas City won. Amen. But can we but do you know who lost? 
I'll give you a hint. They're from Northern California. Amen. No one remembers a loser. No one. <coughs> they always remember the winner. Amen. He has finished the race. Don't give up, beloved. Don't give up just because you had a bad year. Don't give up because things didn't go your way. Amen. Remember, God is on the throne. Amen. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. No matter what the enemy throws at us. No matter what COVID, COVID hits my wife or me or, or the dog or whatever the case may be. Amen. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Is it easy? No. Do we go through hard times? Yes. Is there day, some days I don't even feel like reading my word? Yes. Is there some days I don't feel like praying? Yes. Amen. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. You know, I'm going to finish this race. Amen. I have nowhere to, I have nowhere, where am I going to go back to? Where am I going to go back to? Amen. Back to the neighborhood? The neighborhood ain't even there no more. It's a, it's a Walmart now. Amen. Is I even there no more? Amen. Where am I going to go back to? The connection? Amen. No, I'm not going to go back to the connection. Where am I going to go back to? The bar? Why? The bar's not even there no more. Amen. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a sit and sleep now. Amen. I mean, where am I going to go back to? Amen. I'm going to finish the race. Amen. I'm going to keep the faith. Amen. If there's anything I'm going to do, is I'm going to keep the faith. Amen. Verse 8. Finally, there is laid out for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to have also loved his appearing. Amen. The crown of righteousness. Amen. That's like, that's like the, that's like the honorable discharge for the Christian. Amen. Our crown. Amen. Let's go to verse 9. Be diligent to come quickly. This is the Paul writing to his disciple Timothy. Amen. Because Timothy is going to take over. Amen. Once, once Paul dies. Amen. He already groomed Timothy. He schooled Timothy. He mentored. He discipled him. Amen. But he's giving Timothy. Amen. Some words of wisdom here. Be diligent to, to me to come to me quickly. For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed for Thessalonia. Amen. Not everybody, amen, is gonna not everybody is gonna line up where you're lining up. Amen. Here Paul talks tells Timothy about Demas. Demas was a faithful follower at one time. Amen. Paul discipled Demas. Paul, Paul led Demas to the Lord. Amen. Demas was there th 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 during part of uh, Paul's ministry. Amen. But he tells us right now here that Demas has forsaken him. He left him. Amen. It probably just got too rough for him. Uh, Demas probably said, you know what? I ain't going to jail. Heck no, I'm not going to get crucified. I'm not, uh, 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 you want to you wanna die for Jesus? That's on you, you Paul. But me, Demas, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Huh? You ever known any Christians that would say that? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all right, brother. I'm all right. I don't need prayer. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't need to go to church. Amen. Me and God have our own personal relationship. Amen. You know? You ever known anybody that would say that? Amen. I have church in my house. Uh, you know, me and God has a, we have an understanding. Amen. I mean, that's a lie of the pit of hell. Amen. They're, they're a demons. They're a demons. If you're listening to me tonight, you're a demons. Amen. Look what it says. Having loved the present world and has departed for Thessalonia. Amen. Demons left Paul, went back to the world. He backslid. You know, the Bible says that he loved the present world. 
He loved going. He he loved it. He loved it. He went back to drinking, to partying, to smoking, to to, to dancing, to to clubbing. Amen. You know, one of those. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have a Budweiser on, on on my birthday, but on Sunday I'll be in church repenting. Amen. Uh, you know, and that's what he's telling, and that's what he's saying. Amen. Not everybody's gonna agree with you, beloved. Not everybody's gonna want to go to church with you. Not any, not everybody's want to go go to Bible study with you. Not everybody's gonna agree with the things that you agree as far as being in tune with God. Amen. But it's all right. It's all right. Amen. All you gotta worry about is yourself and your home. Amen. And your home. Amen. That's why you could tell you could tell yourself, I have fought the good fight. Amen. No matter what the enemy threw at me, I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I might have been tired. I could have been tore up from the floor up. But you know what? I finished the race and I've kept the faith. Amen. I didn't I didn't blow my testimony. Amen. I didn't I didn't go out and have an affair. Amen. I didn't go out and get loaded. I didn't go out and and and, 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 and drink. Amen. Because uh, you know, this and this happened. Amen. Uh I didn't I didn't go back to watching porno. Amen. I didn't go back to doing this or that. Amen. I kept the faith. And that's what we need to do, uh, beloved. Is that during these times that we're in, amen, especially now that we're getting to the end of the year, amen, Whatever, however you end this year, let me make this clear, however you end this year, you're going to take that into the new year. I, I seal it. I seal it. Amen. If you, if you end this year strong in the Lord... Amen. You're fighting the good fight. Amen. You're running your race. You're keeping your faith. When you go into 2021, you're taking that with you. Amen. But if you're if you're if you're sitting here, woe is me. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh man, this, that. I'm sick in the body. I'm sick in the head. I'm I'm this, I'm that. Guess what? Amen. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. You're going to take that into the new year. Amen. Not saying God can't change things. He can. Amen. But remember, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. You're going to take that into the new year with you. Amen. No one wants to hang around with a negative person. Nobody. Amen. Nobody. Amen. I want people to speak life into me into me. I want people to speak positive around me. Amen. Uh, uh, as much negativity there is in this world, I don't need friends of mine to speak negative around me. Amen. I'll just hang up the phone or I just won't answer them. Amen. Verse 11. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you for he is useful to me. And for my ministry. And Theseus, I have sent to Ephesus. Check this out in verse 13. You need to really look at this in verse 13. Bring the cloak, the coat, that I have left with Carpus at, at Troyes. When you, when you come, bring the books, especially the parchments. Look at the Apostle Paul's attitude here. Amen. He knows he's going to die. Amen. It's just a matter of time they come and rack his cell and take him down to the electric chair. Amen. To death row. Amen. It's just a matter of day. It's just a matter of time. Amen. But look at his attitude. Nowhere does he, nowhere is he, is he like, woe is me. Oh man, you know, I, I gave God my whole life and this is how I'm going to end, you know. No, no, no. Look, 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 look what he says. Bring the cloak, the jacket, amen, that I left with Carpus at Trails. When you, and when you come, bring the books, 
especially the parchments. The Apostle Paul says, bring my Bible. Bring my Bible. Amen? That's what his attitude was. He says, you know what? If I'm going to die, if I'm going to be crucified for the gospel of Jesus Christ, I'm going to be crucified, amen, with the word of God in my hand. That's what's his attitude. Amen. That's what I love about the Apostle Paul. That's what I love about the, the, the Word of God. Amen. It just sets everything in perspective. Amen. We're so worried about we're so worried about this. We're so worried about that. We're so worried about toilet paper, paper towels, stimulus checks. We're so we're so worried about so much junk. Amen. Here are the Apostle Paul's getting ready to get crucified, and all he's telling us is. To bring my Bible. Bring the books. Bring the parchments. Amen. Bring the word. Bring my notes. That's all he's worried about. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Amen. In closing, verse 17. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. So that the message might be preached fully through me. And that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever, ever. Amen. No matter what the Apostle Paul is going through right here, amen. He gave us some perfect examples, amen. We are to fight the good fight. We are to finish our race. We are to keep the faith. No matter what the enemy throws at us, amen, we are to be in his word, amen, be in his word. And we are to understand what he closed out here, but the Lord stood with me. No matter what happens, the Lord is with you, beloved, amen. You could be hooked up to an oxygen tank, amen. The Lord is with you, and it's only through him you're going to find your strength, amen, because that message might be preached fully through you. Whatever you're going through is your testimony. You cannot, you, cannot go, you cannot have a testimony unless you go through a test. You cannot have a message unless you've been through the mess. Amen? So my word of encouragement tonight, beloved, as I close, amen? Look at your walk from January... To today only you know only you know amen continue fighting the good fight run your race and keep the faith that's why you can take that into the new year in 2021 amen I'm gonna close in prayer amen I'm gonna lift all you up in tonight in prayer amen Maybe you're out there, you never heard, you never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, what better way though to tonight? Amen. It got nothing to do with religion. It got nothing to do with religion. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. That he died for you. Amen. That he is your Savior. Amen. No one else could love you like Jesus loves you. Amen. <coughs> Maybe you're backslidden out there. Amen. And you know that you know that you know that you got to get things right. Amen. Tomorrow's not promised to anybody, beloved. It's not. It's not. Amen. I mean, an old man was crossing the street to, uh, this morning in Boyle Heights. And got hit. Hit and run. Amen. Hit and run. Amen. Died. Amen. He was just going across the street to get a taco. Amen. You know, he didn't know or else he would have stood home. Tomorrow's not promised. Amen. So I'm going to pray. Amen. And if you fall into that category, whether you've never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or you're backslidden and you want to rededicate your life. Amen. Um, just repeat these words after me. Amen. And if you truly, truly mean it from your heart, God will hear your prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight, Father God, as we just give you praise, we give you glory. 
I thank you for your word, Father God. I thank you for the Apostle Paul for setting an example for us, Father God, that we are to fight the good fight. We are to finish our race, and we are to continue, Father God, just having faith, Lord God, in everything, Father God. Let us not be that person, Father God, that stumbles, that falls to the wayside, Father God, that runs out of breath, Father God. Because your word says, Father God, that's that look, those that, that plow the land that look back are not fit for the kingdom of heaven. So, Father God, let us, Father God, just stand firm in your word, Father God. And, Father God, if there's anybody out there, Father God, that new commitment or backslidden or just wants to, that just wants to get things right, Father God, I'm going to pray right now, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that they pray with a sincere heart and you hear their prayer, Lord God. So if that's you, just repeat this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those that trespass against me. I'm a sinner, Lord, and I need a Savior. I dedicate my life to you tonight. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you died on the cross and that you rose again on the third day. And now that you stand, you sit at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Teach me, descent, disciple me through the Holy Spirit. I will read your word. I will learn of your marvelous, marvelous love. And from this day forward, to the best of my ability, I will serve you with all of my heart. And if you said that tonight, and you truly believe that, then you know <coughs> Jesus heard it. So until next Friday, beloved, God bless you. Be safe out there. We'll pray for us. We'll pray for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. <laughs>